Welcome to the first Marine match of 2024. Marine versus Hyde United. Last year we faced Warrington Rounds. Our first and last game of the year were both against Warrington Rounds, which is mad to think about. So we started that year off poorly losing 3 1 with um, one of our weakest performances of that season. So hopefully that's not a repeat because apparently we played terrible last week away against Basford. I mean, we did lose 2 1. And they're in the relegation. So, so I'd assume so, but. <laughs> We've lost to them and beat them one time this season, so hopefully we beat them again. Big game in the playoff push, so must win in my eyes. See you at the match. Hi, it's Murray and team sheets will be up and all that about it. Put them up. It's Nathan Woodford's last appearance today. Might be a tapey off the bench from one of the four backs we signed, I don't know. Um, 21. How we come? Um, basically, he's just having financial trouble. They need to like hun like good hundred thousand pounds or so to be able to stay in the league. They got enough to stay as a club, but they'll have to do it at a lower level. Obviously. I don't have a clue to be honest. I'll have to have a Google. Start this shot. She asked if he puts himself about Will. Definitely. I mean, the start doesn't mean to go on, that's all right. Just missed a goal, absolute rocket from there into the top corner. Alright, yeah. <laughs> Definitely deserve, we've been pretty full. That has not been over my that has been shite. <laughs> We're all right at this side of the pitch, but attacking wise, we've been absolute puzzling most for weeks. We're either scared or just crap. Oh! Absolutely fucking deserve this. We are absolutely woeful at attacking at the moment. I don't know what's going on with us, but we're fucking shit. You're fucking shit, Marine. Fucking joked a lot of you. Nice if we did this 20 minutes ago, eh? Come on! Oh. <laughs> Absolutely pathetic. The minute. We could do some ball, to be honest. My expectations are that low. Game, to be honest. Oh, oh, fucking hell. All right, after I'm 3-0 down, we've been absolutely pathetic. We've been very clearly tired because we refuse to buy any new players, even though we desperately need them. And then, um, yeah, all in all, it's been an absolute job. We're scared to go forward, which we have been for weeks, but until way right towards the end of the first half when we went 3-0 down, and you shouldn't take that for you to start attacking. 
in defensively we are too slow in clearing the bloody ball and overall we've just forgotten how to play football at anything above a Sunday league level it's an absolute joke Firstly, there is a second half I don't even think that's a on these they can support themselves yeah, my first experience of surgery. I come, I do we give us a bloody. You might make us have to go and die. That's what's so annoying about it. I haven't taken yeah. any chances. I mean, very, um, the thing that bothers me is that we, we've not been able to attack for a while and like. Sometimes you just get lucky goals yeah, and that yeah. happens. But like, when you can't defend, you're going to concede. It's as simple as that. They couldn't defend against Battlefield, and uh, even though they missed about five chances, they still ended up winning 2-1. I'm not sure if you physically able to... I watched a video of Yeah. Yeah, we, we had bloody Darius and Will at one point and just decided to play Manpala over them, which is true, because he's not a striker. All right, we've brought someone off and we've brought someone else on. Like tens off because he's been crap, and we've replaced him with someone who's actually starting to get good. To be fair. It weren't too bad last game, so I can't give him too much stick. Well, now he's not because he played the right back for Marine. Quite as well played him. Had any other opportunities. What's the fucking goal? Oh. Oh. 1,346 attendance, probably about 1,200 of them completely wasted their time. Alright, so we had Manus Manpala the whole time, decided to put Cristolo up front. I don't know what he was thinking. Because as much as Manpala isn't a striker, he's more of a striker than Chris is. Not being funny, but that was fucking stupid. Oh, I'm... oh. oh fuck yeah. it. Come on! Go no. Go on, Joe. Oh, fuck my whip it in. We need to start doing that quicker. I've noticed that for like ages. <laughs> I was just too slow with that. Ooh. Oh, Ross is coming off number nine. Someone called Matthew, I think it is, is coming on for hard. I can't hear the speakers because the speakers are crap at the minute. 12, number 12. Is it on? Oh, the corner. That's a bit like Sony Corner. Oh, come on. Um, ah, that was a terrible clearance. Heaven's coming off a high, it's 14's coming on. Yeah. Alright. Oh, fuck off! Oh, no! 
Fuck off! Left, you're a fucking joke. Oh, fucking hell! Because he was all right in first half. Oh, I don't care anymore. I hope they know they don't deserve that based off the second half. Number 10 is off for number 17 for Hyde. Just press the fucking ball. <laughs> Never fucking mind that. Thank fuck for that. Right, 4 1 win for them. That is a massive defeat, and it pretty much just shows that if you don't buy a decent squad apart from your starting 11, you're going to be absolutely rubbish because our second choice players are not good enough. And it's as simple as that. We need a better just overall squad. We've got a nice starting 11, but apart from that, we're useless. And we have better players at the start of the season. On midfield today, all players that, if everyone was fit, would not play. And you can tell why. Because they're all shit. Or at least they were shit today. I actually don't mind um, the number 11 too much, especially as a backup just for the last 10 minutes. But like the other two, I just don't think they're good enough, to be honest. Lucian, Bedelson, or whatever his name is. And then, for the first half, we forgot how to attack, which doesn't exactly help. And um, for a little bit, we um, failed to defend. We were too slow in clearing the ball the entire game. We weren't good at clearing the ball. And overall, the performance, especially in the first half, was just not good enough. But I admire the heart that we showed in the second half. And if we continue to be as good as we were attacking-wise in that second half in future games, we might actually start winning instead of looking as shit as we do look now. Full time, 4-1 defeats. Um, I've seen Sunday League teams play better than we did in the first half. Too slow defensively. Our midfield was useless because they were all second choice options who should really be third choice because they're not very good. Um, although, to be fair, Liam Nolan's decent off the bench and Gregson's only young. But, like, I, you can tell I don't like Lossie. I never have. I just don't think he's very good. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was just awful. And I think it shows how naively we've been managed. We've only really signed players for the start in 11. Since we got promoted, we haven't had a settled strike force. Even when we've had the opportunity to do so, and we've just decided against it, which is stupid. And, um, yeah, we've been run naively. We haven't learned anything from our f um, issues last season. And to put it simply, we don't deserve playoffs like this. And ho so hopefully we get a striker, we get a right back for the bench, and we get some more decent options for the bench that are better than what we currently have, because what we currently have isn't good enough. And uh, we start to rebuild our season. But if you don't, we're not good enough for playoffs. Simple as. Onwards and hopefully upwards on Tuesday in the Senior Club against Witness. Bye.